So we're gonna be making flame mignon with kale sauteed with bacon and a little bit of lemon. And then uh, as a sauce for the flame mignon, it's gonna be fresh garlic, mushrooms and shallot, uh, reduced with some stock and then a little cold butter stirred in. We're gonna have roasted potatoes with fresh herb and asparagus on the side. So I've already minced up some white mushrooms and then I've already minced up some shallot because we didn't plan on making a video. <laughs> All right, so now that we got that garlic pretty finely minced, I'm just gonna set that in this little bowl. So you always wanna uh, smash your garlic before you mince it. It makes it easier to peel and it also does some chemical shit that um, many people swear is healthy and good for you. So there's, you know, there's no reason not to really. So we'll do about that much asparagus. Always rinse your vegetables. So I'm gonna trim them all equally, a pretty good way up the length. Okay, let's show them my Oreo coffee though. It tastes exactly like Oreos, or what I imagine, Cocoa Puffs Co and milk. Post Cocoa Puff milk. <laughs> so when we cook the filet, we're gonna throw in a whole sprigs of thyme and a whole sprig of fresh rosemary as well. I wish you could smell it, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna do a little rosemary. I think people tend to go overboard when they put rosemary with potato. And now we're just gonna mince these and it's only gonna take me one second, watch. We're gonna do four medium yellow potato potatoes. What it's like to be Alexis peeling potatoes. <laughs> Point of view. Yeah, it gives the potato a really cool fucking texture. It stops it from slipping around low key. Bada ba boom, pow. Sick. I'm potato handoff. Now I gotta do the Anthony POV. So I'm gonna take a little slice off the bottom, a little slice off the end, and I'm just gonna cut it in about half inch slices. If you're making potatoes, put salt on them for fuck's sake. Alexis and I once saw a meal prep tutorial video where a woman, <clears throat> where a woman baked potatoes and she said, you can put salt on them if you want. <laughs> Me personally, I like them plain. You, you should be arrested. <laughs> if you like plain potatoes, dislike this video, unsubscribe and go fuck yourself. <laughs> All the potatoes are now in the bowl. I'm gonna do a spoonful of our minced garlic, good spoonful of my minced shallot that I definitely filmed myself mincing. All of our herbs, rosemary and parsley being, with some caldo de pollo, AKA MSG, also known as bouillon, because that shit's bussin'. That's how you make fucking good food. MSG's not bad for you dumbasses. Shitload of salt, a shitload of pepper, because my girlfriend and I like pepper, so. A little obsessed, just slightly. Yeah. So feel free to put half to a quarter of the amount of pepper <laughs> I'm putting, because pepper's, oh. pepper's amazing. I use a neutral flavored oil with a high smoke point, like avocado oil, grapeseed oil, anything that smokes at 450 to 500 degrees. Rolling up the lemon to get the juices flowing. So we're doing a little less, a little less than half a lemon. Did you get a seed in there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Give them a toss. So we're gonna get those on a sheet pan. This do be our tiny ass kitchen though. This is our only drawer. Classic. This is the only drawer. <laughs> okay, so after that's done, we basically have the leftover marinade in the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a little teaspoon and give an extra scoop. This is all the shallots and garlic and herbs and lemon and oil, so. Look at those, yeah. So they're gonna be bomb. Finish with a little sprinkling of cayenne. Cayenne's delicious. Just adds a little warmth that uh, apparently has a lot of health benefits. Shit, them bitches are ready for the oven as soon as it's preheated. Oh. What the fuck? And we're gonna go top rack. And it's probably gonna take about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 to check. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Classic 15. Classic 15 to check. Boom. <clears throat> 15 minute timer. I'm gonna go ahead and toss our asparagus in. We're just gonna toss it with everything in here. Drizzle of oil, a little more of that garlic, a little more of that shallot. 
salt, black pepper, cayenne, with just a little onion and garlic, and this shit's useful. Fuck Gordon Ramsay for pretending like garlic powder and onion powder can't make good food because it's literally pure onion and pure garlic. <laughs> that shit's gonna be good. Look at that. <laughs> a motherfucker uses a lot of salt, okay? Get off my dick. Oh, you put so much- you adequately season your food. You must eat so much sodium. Bitch! You eat fast food three times a day? You out here eating a whole bag of hot Cheetos in one sitting? You drink Gatorade just when you're regularly thirsty? You're gonna die, you <laughs> fucking idiot. I'm gonna cut up bacon, yeah, and then we're gonna saute the kale in the bacon fat. So I'm doing a cool five strips of bacon. You could definitely tone down the bacon, but we do not eat bacon regularly. Mm -mm. Look at this cute little kettle, oh my god. Anthony's mom got it for us. It's adorable. I just fucking hit my head. It takes five minutes to warm up our apartment, so 76 degrees, it's, it definitely feels hot. Here's our potatoes after 10 minutes, sizzling. We got our asparagus on the bottom. Okay, so this is on high heat, so when we get this onion and garlic in there, we really only have about 30 seconds of stirring, and then we're putting the kale in, which is gonna reduce the temperature of the pan. So I'm taking a little garlic, a little shallot, going in hard. Let that saute just to take the raw edge off. A little bit of the fat just with the paper towel. Because we want quite a bit, but it doesn't have to be absolutely drowning. Paper towel is a really fast way to do that. Now we're going with our fucking kale. Ooh, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's good it for you. So good. It tastes amazing. I don't know why it became a joke that kale is nasty and people from California are obsessed with it, but it's fucking amazing, and I am from California. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping time. Okay. It's already lost so much of its volume. Give that a squeeze of lemon. Gonna come in with a little pepper. Um, dry meat sears better. Generous lee season. Cause you want your food to taste like food. Both sides, cutting board, just a touch. You don't want a spicy steak. You literally just want a little enhancement of flavor. We're gonna go and season the sides with what's on the cutting board. We oil the steak and not the pan. So put a little bit, spread it with your tongs. This is the shit we gotta fucking- The get up. This is the shit we gotta do because we don't have a fucking fan. Oil on the steak, steak in the pan. Ooh. We want a really good sear on these steaks, so we're just gonna put them in and not touch them for a few minutes. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get sear on that second side. Look at that crust. Get a close-up on that. Look at that. More butter than you think you'll need because we're not going to be consuming all the butter, so it doesn't matter. Fresh herbs. Crush, throw it in. Throw it in. Throw it in. That's how you put the fucking steak. So now, so basically you're just going to sit here and start basting. It's easier with one, doable with two. So these are just about done. Put these in the foil. Ooh. Top them with the herbs. Top them with the garlic. Ten in the steak. Let that rest for 10 to 15 minutes. And our shallots or onion. You don't have to use shallot. Shallot. The leftovers of our garlic. And our finely minced mushrooms. We'll just give this a couple minutes to uh, deepen in flavor and caramelize. We're gonna come in ooh, with a third of a cup of chicken stock or beef stock. A dash of Worcester sauce. So we're gonna let it reduce by about half. 
We're gonna stir in some heavy cream. In this case, I'm using half and half. Now you're gonna come in with just a small chunk of cold butter and a squeeze of lemon. You don't want it to taste like lemon, you just want it to hold the sauce together. The acid will help the butter emulsify. Give it a little taste. Mm. Perfect. Look at that. Let's see that thick chunk. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Really perfect for Alexis, I'll tell you that. Yep. Pretty perfect. Yeah. Perfectly medium rare on the middle of this thick one. A little extra asparagus. Filet mignon. Kale on the side. Wow. Sometimes you make something and then you look at it and you're like, shit, I did that? <laughs> look at that shit. Is that a doom? Look at that, and we need to put the sauce on it. Take a little of that mushroom shallot and garlic reduction, and boom. 